despite moving to the west coast nearly three years ago, I still hadn't made a trip to the Alabama hills. This seemed like the perfect weekend to go. The temperatures were low, work was quiet, and my brother was free to join me. We found a perfect spot just as the light began to fade. So I set up my home away from home to be ready for the cold nights, grabbed us a couple beers, and hit the trail. The sunset our first night was a bit disappointing. I was hoping for a little bit more clouds overhead and color in the sky. But still, I couldn't help but put on a wide-angle lens to capture a sweeping view of this desert landscape. Not long after photographing this scene, the light faded entirely and the temperatures began to drop. We decided it was about time to head back, start a fire, and call it a night. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Glad we pulled it off. We need another beer. I didn't know that idea. This alarm was painful. It was still dark and very, very cold. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm here for sunrise at the Alabama Hills. You can see behind there's some real low clouds rolling through right at sunrise, so I think they're going to light up and look amazing. I got my 5 DSR mounted, ready for a couple shots of Mel with me. I got a few pre-dawn ones in the blue hour, but I think I'm going to hit the trail and try to find a bit of a better perspective. still great morning for sunrise now in this moment I truly was awestruck at the scene in front of me the dead silence the grand sweeping view of the Sierras the storms rolling in over the peaks and the light that I knew was coming Alright, so I've got my composition all set up, taking in the wide view from the storms off to the right, all the way over to the snow-capped mountains with the clouds just starting to turn right now. So I'm all set up for whatever changes in light we get at sunrise. Looks like it's just starting right now. So cable release starting at 28 mil F9 focused on the mountains, ISO 100. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
I'll admit that in this moment, I was concerned that this would be the extent of the sunrise light. Little did I know what the next 20 minutes had in store. Alright, so you can see the first of that pink light is just starting to grab the top of the mountains. Wow, this looks amazing. The light had changed so dramatically and so quickly, I scrambled a little bit to put on my 100 to 400, hoping to capture a few panoramas before the light faded. In this sped up view, you can see just how quickly the light's beginning to change. Over the span of the next two to three minutes, I focused entirely on capturing eight horizontal images. I split these up into groups of three and five. It was one of those cases where I knew I was in the right place at the right time. The light was perfect, the scene was unbeatable and I could hardly wait to see how they would turn out. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video to see the final images. This is one of the more incredible sunrises I've ever seen. Truly awesome. All right, so I know we just rapid fired off there quite a few shots, but I wanted to get the light while it was good. It's getting kind of windier too. One of, you, one of the views that I like quite a bit is this mountain off to the right. And forgive me, I don't know the one that's right to the right of Mount Whitney. But I like how the streaks of the clouds are just kind of hanging over the mountain peak. You got streaks of pink light with the dark blue of the mountain behind it. So, zoomed right in on that mountain peak. Here's another view that I like quite a bit. The light is just starting to break to the southernmost mountains, and it's lighting up this sweeping view while the rest of them remain shouted, shrouded, shrouded in shadow. There's no wind, so I'm gonna grab it. But I really like the way that these clouds are just starting to catch. This is all still in shadow in all areas around, and the sunrise is lighting up just this sweeping face of the mountain to the south.
blast with a really good sunrise light. So I'm gonna hike back to my car where I'm camping and grab some morning coffee and maybe some breakfast too. This is two morning outings in a row now where I've not had my morning coffee with me. So um, yeah, I think I better go do that. On the walk back to my campsite, the wind continued to howl and further wind burned my face. I could really only think about two things. One, I couldn't wait to warm up with some coffee. And two, wonder how in the world those panoramas were going to turn out. Other than the sound of my brother's dog barking in the distance, there was nothing to be heard in the Alabama hills. It's one of those places where you can almost hear the blood moving through your ears, it's so silent. If you follow this channel for some time, you would know that this is something that I should have done earlier in the morning. I would have been warmer, more alert, and maybe gotten a better explanation or two in while I was taking those panoramas. But better late than never, and I couldn't be more grateful to be having a cup of hot coffee with this exceptional view. I'm really looking forward to sharing these two panoramic images with you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed these two images and all the others as much as I did. Thanks as always for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.